Your Excellency, Jonathan, Secretary of Conference, Rachel, District Chair, and all other protocols duly observed. I bring you warm greetings from Ghana and from the Methodist family in Ghana. That is the Methodist Church, Ghana. Our history says about 187 years ago, a young man from Yorkshire traveled all the way to the Gold Coast to bring Methodism to some young, enthusiastic Ghanaians who had heard about Jesus and his saving faith and his saving hand upon people. They asked for Bibles, but this man came not with Bibles only, but with a missionary called Joseph Rhodes Downwell. 1st January 1835, he landed in Cape Coast. Since then, we have had relationship and partnership with the Methodist Church in Britain. In 1961, we gained our autonomy to be a conference on our own. The church has grown, leaps and bounds. As we speak now, we can count off a membership of about a million in Ghana and other parts of the world. As we came in this morning and the choir sang the intro, my eyes were filled with tears. I wept. For one particular reason, that this is what my predecessors, counting from Most Reverend Dr. Samuel Asantienfi, wanted in the 1980s, leading to the formation of the Ghana Ghanaian Methodist Fellowship, meeting intermittently here in the UK, for which we could not, as a church, form our own and bring our own together to worship as we found this afternoon. This is what my predecessors wanted to see, which they never saw, and I am seeing this. I dedicate this day to pass and teach, and all who have gone ahead. That we, as Ghanaians, can meet in a country where the gospel was sent to us, and as Jonathan said, to bring revival. And to allow the Holy Spirit to use us to bring about revival in this country. This is the first of its kind. Yesterday I told the congregation here, Ghana will always see you as our Cape Coast. Because from Cape Coast, we now have all the Ghanaian societies and the impact we are making in Ghana and elsewhere. And so for us, we say thank you to the Methodist Church in Britain and for coming with us this far and for allowing this to begin 
this is only the beginning. And I know that when we have come far with whatever we need to do, we will see the power of the Holy Spirit flowing amongst us. Yes. And the Methodist spirit will be revived here in Britain and elsewhere. We greet you and our prayers are with you. And we say thank you for this opportunity. For the challenges, Ghanaians, we see them as opportunities. And we will continue to work in partnership with you. Thank you. And the talking of our greetings, we have His Excellency is here. So we'll ask him to join me. Your Excellency, please. Yeah. And let me also mention that he's not only here as His Excellency as a Ghana High Commissioner, he is a true and true Methodist. <laughs> he is a conference member and he has been a conference member all the years. And so we see him as one of us. And a local preacher, an accredited local preacher. In the of the Ghana is Coco. And Coco is Ghana. But Ghana is also Kente. And Kente is Ghana. Yes. So I'll call the names and then His Excellency will just add on you with it as our guest. So first we call on the Secretary of Conference, Dr. Jonathan Hassel. The district chair, Rachel. Rachel. The Ghanaian in white skin, <laughs> Reverend Stephen Fosin. Leo Neto. Leo, we are so grateful. <laughs> the superintendent, Reverend Henry. Please appreciate him. Appreciate him. I say that he is the one who caught the vision. He caught the vision. And that is why I want you to, to appreciate to embarrass him. Thank you. And thank you, and I know that the church here will grow to the glory of God, and others will be 